Hello everyone, so today we're going to take a quick look at the new home screen in iPadOS 15. But before I update the iPadOS 15, let's take a quick look at my current home screen in iPadOS 14 so we can compare it. So my apps are over here, the dock is over here, and the widgets are over here. Now all the widgets cannot be placed anywhere. They can only be found on the left side. And some of the widgets can be pinned. So these two widgets on the top are pinned. So if I swipe down, you'll see that they stay there. But this widget disappears. And this allows you to scroll through all of your widgets. So you can have a long list of widgets to scroll through. But the issue is when you rotate the portrait, the widgets disappear. Well, not really disappear, but you have to swipe right to see them. Which is really frustrating since it only works in landscape mode. So with a new software update, iPadOS 15, it gives you the ability to place widgets on your home screen, just like the iPhone. And this means, whether you're in portrait or landscape, you can see your widgets at all times. There are also a few other improvements, including an app library in the dock. And this makes it easier to choose an app to multitask. On iPadOS 14, you can only choose the apps in your dock for multitasking. So if I want, I can open Safari and Messenger. But if I want to open any of the other apps on my iPad, then I have to place them into my dock. So let's take a look at iPadOS 15. Okay everyone, I'm back and automatically the widgets are already here on the home screen. So this is what I was talking about. You can put your widgets anywhere you want. I can grab this widget and put it over here, just like the iPhone. And that's pretty cool since when I'm in portrait mode, I can now easily see my widgets without having to swipe. And I can still swipe if I want to, to view some more widgets. But most of the widgets that are compatible will appear here. And there's also a new app library on the dock. So if I want to do multitasking and open any other app, I can easily use this. So if I tap on it, it shows me all of my apps. And they're already categorized into categories, I guess. <laughs> Makes sense. So this is the same on the iPhone. We have social, other, utilities, games, photo and video, productivity and finance, and the categories will vary by your apps. So this iPad only has a few apps since it's mainly used for entertainment. But if you have work apps and other types of apps, then you can add more categories. Let me show you how the app library works in action. So I'm going to open Safari, then I can go to my dock, and then get notes. Put it next to it, and now I can see the information I wrote. So this is a cool example, if I want to order an iPhone, I can write the exact model that I want, then I can go over here in the website and scroll through and then order it. Now I'm not going to order an iPhone, but if you want to order some takeout, food, or groceries, you can have your grocery list here and then your order here. Or if you're doing online class, then you can put your book over here and then you can take notes over here. And this works with a lot of different apps, so the possibilities are endless. This is just a cool example. Now hopefully you enjoyed watching this video and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more and help support my channel. Feel free to leave a question or comment down below. And thanks for watching.